If you were to go on a diet, you might be interested in counting calories, watching the food that you eat, and the calories you burn when you exercise. For a similar reason, scientists have been interested in the same thing for animals. Except for animals, they're not just watching waistlines, it's life or death. We were interested in the energetic cost of a particular behavior that some moths do, jamming the echolocation of bats. The moth Bertholdia trigona is the only animal known to jam bat echolocation, and it does so by producing clicks at up to 4,500 clicks per second. We predicted that the short-term costs of jamming bats would be high, but the overall contribution to the animal's energy budget would be low because the moths click sparingly. We measured the energetic cost of jamming by suspending moths in a miniature respirometry chamber. Air is pumped through the chamber and the amount of carbon dioxide in the air is measured as it enters and as it leaves the chamber. We can then measure the amount of carbon dioxide the animal produces as it performs different behaviors, such as resting, flying, or clicking. This will tell us how much energy the animal uses. We get the moths to click by broadcasting bat calls from a miniature ultrasound speaker and recording the moth clicks on a miniature ultrasound microphone. We found that flying had the highest cost, at about 28 times the cost of resting. In comparison, clicking for jamming had a low cost of about 0.66 times the cost of resting. We don't know how often moths click in nature, but even if we assume a very high rate, such as once every 10 seconds that they're flying, then clicking for jamming would only contribute about two-tenths of one percent of the animal's energy budget. Therefore, it appears that energetic costs do not constrain how often the moths are jamming. Instead, the moths can focus on other factors, such as when it's most effective. These results likely also hold for moths that click for other purposes, such as attracting mates or warning predators that they are toxic. Jamming bat sonar has been shown to be the most effective defense against attacking bats. We now know that jamming comes at little cost to the animals that use it. Why more animals don't jam their predators is still a mystery.